Shoot, shoot, shoot review. One, two, one, two, it's the shoot review. Hi guys, it's me, Megan Hashem, and today I'm talking Nike Zoom Pegasus 37s. Check. The girls in my mouth double as a freeze but The girls in my mouth double as a freeze but The girls in my mouth. Alright, so I got these as a beautiful birthday present. My family got me these knowing I would love the look of them. Looks alone. Hot pink, turquoise, neon, greeny, yellowy. That says me to me, they're such cute colors. So I'm loving the colors, I'm loving the look of these shoes. But let's talk functionality. So these are running shoes. These are meant for running. I do some running, I've been known to run. Um, I haven't been running lately, but maybe these will inspire me to run a lot more now. So let's see what Nike says about these. It's a durable, lightweight trainer designed for everyday running. So that's about right for me. These are good for beginner runners, advanced runners, slow runners, fast runners. It's really like a crossover shoe that works for most runners. The Pegasus has been going, I mean, there's been 37, makes of them obviously it says established 1972 i don't know if that's the pegasus or what established 1972 it says right there on the toe i'm not sure i'd have to look into what that meant so let me just go over because there is a bit of controversy over the 36s and the 37s because it seems they've changed a little bit in the 37s and some people love it some people don't they're a little cushier i hear all right so i have not got a chance to actually go out for a run in them but i have worn them around a bit and i'm going to give you my thoughts on what I think so far and maybe I'll be back for another thought video on them once I've done a lot more in them these shoes were Canadian $155 I think US they're around 120 something I saw online so 155 Pegasus is well known as being a dependable, awesome running shoe. So the Pegasus 37 has a few new features. They have the zoom foam here, lots of stacked zoom foam, but they also have react foam in there. So that's where people are finding, oh, it's a little different. So the react foam is a little cushier, so it's a softer feel when you put your foot down. It is very cushy. When you put your foot in this shoe, it's a very cushioned, cushy feeling. And when I get them on, you'll see it's very soft here. It's a very soft. So if you're not a fan of super soft cushioning, big stacked cushioning, then you may not like the 37s. I haven't actually tried any other Pegasuses, so I can't really compare, but I've heard that they're a little more stable, a little stiffer, the earlier Pegasuses and the 37s, because they've mixed the Zoom and the React foam in there, they're a little softer and cushier. So depending what you like, that could be a plus, it could be a minus. Me, I love cushy shoes. I'm in love with that. I don't like a really, really hard base. So I think I will love running in these. The upper is a dual mesh. So there's two meshes to it. Dual mesh, perforated mesh. There's no fly wire for the laces here. They've got the strap based lacing, which I think is nice. I actually, I think I might prefer that to the fly wires, right? They're not as thin. There's flat laces in there. I might switch those out to be like hot pink or turquoise just to be cuter. So the tongue, I love the tongue. It is a very thin tongue. Okay, and it's, it's half detached. So you know, if you watch my shoe reviews, I hate those connected tongues, but I do like this. It's like the best of everything. Connected a little like a sock at the bottom there, but at the top, it's like a normal tongue. So I like that. It is a thin tongue. So sometimes you can feel the laces kind of pushing on your foot a bit, but most tongues are thin at this point in time. Breathable mesh black Nike swoosh there. It says running on the back. The inside is a nice, there's a lining in there on the mesh connected to the tongue there. There is a nice luxurious liner in there. It feels great on, it feels like it's hugging my foot just perfectly. I have quite a wide foot and I feel the normal width one fits me really well. There is a wider width one I know that you can order, but this one fits my wide foot really, really well. Nike is getting a little better 
with the wideness. I feel like a few years ago, Nike used to be, for me, very narrow for my wide foot. But I feel like lately they've really upped their game on, on widening their shoes, <laughs> I guess. Maybe people complained, I'm not sure. Um, there's the bottom. There's a big groove here. There's great traction. It's really nice traction. So there's the sole. So it says engineered to the exact specific specifications of world-class runners. I can't even read this. Nike running. Okay, so there's some little fine print. <laughs> on the shoe i don't know that's kind of weird anyways says nike zoom pegasus 37 air zoom so there's the air zoom foam there and in the midsole they have four foot zoom airbag okay and now the new react foam is in there too so they have the zoom and the react cushioning in this First time Pegasus has had the React foam in there instead of just Zoom. So that's made it softer. There's a 10 millimeter heel to toe offset. Okay, it goes way up here. <laughs> it's pretty high. The heel feels pretty low. That is one minus, I would say. I feel the heel is very, very low. And I am a fan of low shoes. I don't mind that. I like a low, a low heel, but this heel is super low. It feels a bit like it's slipping off my foot. And then it has this super pointy high back to it. It's very pointy. So it kind of pokes into you there, into your leg a little bit. So that's one minus, I would say. Very, very low here. And then a pointy shooting up thing at the very back. So that could be fixed, I think. Either this needs to be higher or this needs to be lower and not so pointy <laughs> anyways awesome shoes i'm really enjoying them so far i haven't worn them much i've really just worn them working out at home i will get into some longer runs in them and probably get back to you on how i feel the performance is for running in these other than that i mean they're very bouncy they're comfy they're cute so let's get these on my feet hope you enjoyed this video guys i just got these beauties off super comfy super cushiony super super cute so let me know what you thought of my shoe review also if you're a runner or even just a sneakerhead like me let me know what you thought of the pegasus 37s as opposed to Pegasus is before the 37s because I hear there's a big difference. I don't think I've ever 
worn a Pegasus before. So I want to know what the difference is. Did you like these better? Did you like them worse than the last edition or uh, any other edition of Pegasus? Because there's the big change of it's half zoom, half react cushioning, um, foam. So let me know what you think. Do you like these better? Do you like them worse? I've seen both sides online. So let me know. I like these. I'm ignorant. Ignorance is bliss. I don't really know what the Pegasuses were like before. So all I can judge is how I like these. I do like them a lot. They're very cushy. I think they're going to be amazing for running. I can't wait to get outside and start running in them. And I will be back to let you know what I think of them as actual running, running shoes rather than just leisure, workout, walk around shoes. Cause that's all I've been doing with them through COVID so far. <laughs> Anyways, these are my birthday shoes. Hope you enjoyed my birthday shoe review and stay tuned for more guys. Bye. The grills in my mouth, double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth, double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth, double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth, double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth, double as a freeze, but the grills in my mouth, double as a freeze